A Conversation with Dr. Carmen Johnson. One woman's fight to expose the systematic, oppressive infrastructure around criminal justice. Unless you've been in the experience or know some people in the experience, um, don't realize um, that there, re there really is political prisoners. Um, some people think that the political prisoners are gone forever, buried under the jail. And um, luckily, um, as you would say, the universe allowed you to come back to us on this side of the fence and to be able to tell your story. And for us to be aware of uh, the games they play um, and with our lives and when you challenge um, their institutions, we understand. For those for those that don't understand, is the banking institution in this country is as sacred as the court and how they work hand in hand. Um, as they say, money rules this country. So um, we really, we, I really appreciate you coming on, and um, you definitely, definitely have opened the eyes for myself, as well as everybody in the chat of of what's going on and being aware and understanding that um, this battle of the Aboriginal people in this country is not over. And, I appreciate um, you, you, you having me and allowing me to, 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 to tell some of what happened to me. And I just want people out there to know that just because someone is sitting in that jail camp cage or camp, it does not mean that they did it. It does not mean that they um, are a bad person. And it does not mean that they deserve to be treated like a dog or animal. And you, you can't even imagine the things that go on behind that wall. You can't imagine. And most of, if, if you know people that are in there, most of them are not going to tell you everything that happens in there. And I'm telling it all. You can watch the full conversation with Dr. Johnson anytime on the Let's Talk channel on YouTube. Please also visit Dr. Johnson's website at CarmenStory.org to learn more about her story, her organization, and to sign the petition for her full presidential pardon.